So sometimes you're not asked of a proposal. Some larger businesses and supply chains will work on a process of tendering. Now tendering, I think, is a really difficult thing to do. There are some companies who this is part of their normal process of doing business. They might even have people or a whole team who simply work on preparing tenders because they know they're not going to win all of them. But these people over time become very, very good at producing a good quality tender. They know which boxes will, will tick uh, the boxes for their uh, prospect and they know how to get more points out of that tendering process. So if you're a supplier that doesn't normally do any tendering and you're up against companies that do it on a regular basis, you're immediately at a disadvantage. They're very experienced and they're up here and you're less experienced and you've got to try and bridge that gap at your first go. So tendering is very, very difficult because typically the information you get in advance might not be very good. A lot of uh, purchasing managers don't actually write uh, good quality tenders. They don't say exactly what they need. They might be a bit vague. And so if you're going through a tender process, that's fine if it's part of your process and you need to do it. But if you don't need to do it, you might actually want to avoid it altogether and say, that's fine. They are on profile for us for a customer, as a customer, but because they have this process where we have to go through tender, we don't want to spend effort and time and, and get frustrated if we don't get the business at the end of the day.